so hello and welcome back and this in this video i want to show you how we can apply our css knowledge from the last video on how to select elements and to style this item right here so we have a, a nice little card that displays here for every item and first of all, we need to link our CSS. Um, so the website knows what style to use. And we can do that in the header. Uh, in the head, I mean. And we need to specify type of link it is. And it's a style sheet. And then we call this main CSS. This should be descriptive enough. Now, and now let's see what would we like to style first. We would like to select this class shop item and maybe give it a border i'm sorry class can be selected with a dot and the style we would have and border style we would like to have solid or color let's say just black for now yep this works um then we need to have a padding um if we inspect right here we need to ha we have our border here and we need to specify a padding so um the title and the image are not directly at the border so let's do that padding ram And we don't need to specify any margin, I guess, because that will be done differently. It's like this. This looks much better. Then what I would like to have is to have the image to be on the left and the text on the right. And we can do that let's say either with a float property so the image floats to the left or we could do this with a flex layout maybe let's do it with float first and then later on we can upgrade it And here we want to specify our width. Maybe let's do this as five rem. Also our height with five rem. Like that. And we want to have a float property of left. like this and this should already make website look a lot better as we can see here our text loads around the image on the 
right hand side because we specified the image to be on the left side. Mm. Let's add more description so we can see this better. Oh, I'm sorry, this is the footer. Maybe we should also add a line break. Let's see how that looks. And it looks as expected. Not too pretty yet, but for me it looks honestly fine. So let's continue to maybe select our footer and our header. Our footer should be positioned fixed, so it should always be on the bottom. So zero and left zero and it should have a width of a hundred percent of the parent element and a height of two rem and also we want to have a, let's give it a color of Black. Oh no, let's do this white and a background color of black. Yeah, not background color, but background. Like this. As we can see, we have our now here that is directly at the bottom and yeah that looks good to me in we should also style the header and then in the next video um, I guess we will learn about the layout um, methods in CSS, so we can style the inner part to add more items later. So let's st style the header also. And for that we would like to maybe do the same for header or should we have it just stick at the top yeah I'm unsure um, how I want it but we should also have the same styling Maybe we should have this bigger, like this. And also what we would like to do is um, 
a would like to have text decoration as none so it doesn't display it as links because I always think that is somewhat ugly but we would like to have header that hover would like the color to be black and oh let's do it hmm yeah just invert it for now um we will come up with a better design later So if we hover over link in the header that it will get inverted. Also, the style for the list. This style also none. So we don't have the bullet points and that should already make our list look much better. And we forgot to, yeah, second. Mm. this right yep like this as we can see here when we hover over it yeah gets displayed like this of course we also want to stretch it out like this and we also want to have more items and so on and so on this will be done later in another video when we know about um, different layout types in CSS. There are mainly two, th two um, which is the flex and the grid layout. And yeah, but for now, I think um, this is everything I wanted to cover in this video. And yeah, see you next time in the next video.